All right, perfect. So we've got uh, Distry the fighter here, and if we win this, we are rank one. And I thought I would show how I'm using the the Night Row, um, this Scarecrow creature, um, in my current deck that I've I've used to um, get rank one in this, or at least temporarily get rank one um, in this free rotation. Now. He's using the Wisp opener, he may just be experimenting, um, but for now, just attack here and I'll explain. Yeah, okay, lucky crit, and we got the bravery. So usually I play the troll to start with, and once he gets down to about half HP, I'll play the scarecrow and the deep singer and I'll play those until they die essentially and then I'll play my last two heavy hitters. Sometimes they'll come in earlier, um, but usually not. Um, play the adrenaline here. Alright, let's be really ruthless and get rid take the chance to get rid of the Wisp. I think the Wisp is... Uh, the, the idea behind the Wisp opener is it's there. Um, low, low energy attack. Um, got 20% defense and 60% resistance. So he's somewhat tanky, just doesn't have much HP. Um, but yeah, I think he's maybe regretting that choice now. Um, I've tried the Wisp opener as well and. Yeah, I haven't had too much success with it. Um, I've usually, I, I was previously using the bugbear to come in with the scarecrow and the troll, um, but I found the deep singer's passive late in the game. If I played her later, or she survived later, um, the mindless would get in the way of me using Freeze on the opponent, which is so valuable late game. So she was kind of almost buffing them with Mindless when it should be a debuff. Um, she's still good otherwise. She generates, I have her generating Freeze, Freeze Mindless, another Freeze, and Magic Freeze here, so it's quite good in that regard. Um, yeah, so let's play the next couple of creatures. And we'll just do this and we'll put the bravery. But this is usually how it works. Maybe I could have waited one more turn. Um, especially because he only had 50 energy, my troll wasn't in any danger. But sometimes we've left it too late and they come out with big damage and can kill the troll before you place these down, which is not what you want. So I think his deck is probably just picked also like um, just really strong creatures. Whereas on his own, the scarecrow and a couple of the, you know, the troll and the oh, the troll's pretty good, but the deep singer. They're not good solo creatures. It seems like he's thinking pretty hard here. What to do? He's rank seven at the moment. Um, so he's a really good player, but I don't think he was expecting his wisp to die that quickly. So this bravery is just making it super awkward for him. Um, I think we just spam with the deep singer here. I don't really care about the paralysis. And the bravery we don't care about either. Just leave that there. So we're pretty far ahead here, even if he 
manages to kill something in this turn. There's lots of ways you can play the, the Scarecrow here, um, but this is what I found has been working well. Um, it's always good to keep creatures in your back pocket where they're safe from any debuffs and um, freeze, things like that. Keeping them to the late game is um, good in this deck because you've got the troll um, and the scarecrow kind of generating these attack cards, cleanse. Yeah, so bash and these um, reckless charge that are really useful for these creatures and then you've got the deep singer with the, the, or the freeze so you're setting yourself up really good for the late game and then this trio just makes it really awkward for them with the scarecrow's passive finish him off there and use the attack spike now if I was being really ruthless I would just freeze him here and force him to play another card I think I We'll save it for late game, but we will place that there. I probably should have frozen there, just to force him to play another creature. We might end up playing one anyway. And I do have plenty of freeze for the late game. They're just a bit more expensive. I would love to generate a freeze mindless. This card here. Um, so they can't cleanse the freeze. In many occasions where this card is, you know, that's been definite loss and that's turned it around. You can tell he's thinking a lot here with the Having the Night Crow here with monitoring if you don't proc his passive or not, it takes a lot of um, thinking. Just not going to clean him up. Unfortunate for him. Should be able to kill him anyway, so. Get rid of that heal. Yeah. So he's got a long way back here. A long way back now, and I've, I'm so set up for the late game regardless. With all these freezes. How many freezes do I have? One, two, three, four. Five and then six if you include the armor. I could probably start using him now, I don't think I need to save that many. This playtest is uh, this um this playtest and this free rotation has been good. It's forced me and probably a lot of other players to um, change their playstyle. Um, because if you're anything like me, I've just kind of been abusing the tree um, and the single creature at a time strategy. But I've enjoyed ha having to branch out a little bit. Okay, that's good. So we just cleaned up two of my creatures. Um, so a lot of people might feel like they want to play another creature now, but in my opinion, just so much more value just getting what you can out of the creature you have um, on the board. Um, and keeping these in the back pocket because let's say he kills 
you know, I play one of these, I probably wouldn't have killed him. My troll would have done nothing. And then he might clean one up and freeze my other creature. So the net of all that, you know, it feels like you're doing more damage playing one of these, but it sets you up um, for them. It gives them more opportunities for a comeback. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's kind of how I feel the game. Um, or one thing that people don't do as well. Um, and if you, if someone is playing single creatures, like right now, he could use a freeze, like I did to him, and it forces the player to play another creature. So if, if, by playing this freeze, I forced him to play another creature, unless he had a cleanse. Um, so if you be playing someone that with um, just single creatures. Uh, freeze can really mess it up. I saw somewhere in the Discord that maybe I think Shadow was talking about it that he said maybe the devs have um, actually said that they want mindless to be um, only you can't play um, cards on your own creature so if he has mindless on him now I could actually still play cards on him which I think makes more sense because a lot of the time it's it kind of works as a buff you can protect your own creature from them placing cards on you um, I don't know if the tax bike is worth it. Maybe it would have been actually, I probably would have killed him there. I'm going to do this and this to try to generate. Here. I just want to. I just want to generate a hero card. I know I've probably won here, but it's two creatures to two. Um, just want to take any chances. Speaking of chances, um, this is a full team attack. Oh, it doesn't matter now anyway. Yeah. Very good. All right, that should get us rank one. Yep, there it is. Um, I think Distory was... He's rank 7, I think he was experimenting with the Wisp. Um, but yeah, very good player. And that's our kind of Nightcrow focus deck. That's how we've been playing it. Um, and if you got anything out of that, make sure to subscribe. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.